is Super Bowl Sunday today, and we're making a ton of food. And we have some friends coming down. They're gonna bring a ton of food and beer and all that good stuff. By the way, the tamales we had yesterday, so those are all done. Well, well I think we have some leftovers, but everything for today we're making right now. And this is gonna be ridiculous. These are my favorites. Jalapeno poppers. Mmm. Mm. I love jalapeno. Bacon. Cream cheese. Okay, your timer is set for 10 minutes. And so, because I am a terrible, terrible YouTuber, I didn't record, I didn't film the entire spread from yesterday during the Super Bowl. But suffice it to say, we had a ton of food. The game was not very interesting because it was one-sided. But, but Tom, the food was good. But the, but f the food was fantastic. <laughs> and congratulations to Tom Brady for yet another Super Bowl ring. But today is Water Day. We have neighbors that are nice enough to let us fill up with their well on their property. Uh, so we just bring over our 200 gallon little water tank that fits in our bed and fill up from here and um, use a transfer pump to put it into our freshwater tank. We, I just go back and forth a few times. Um, so it's not too bad because we don't have a well yet. So our setup for refilling our water tanks comprises a few different components. The tank that fits conveniently in the back of our truck, this transfer pump that we got at uh, Tractor Supply, I believe it's a 120. So we just hook it up by running an extension cord out from our utility area, plug it in just fine. The two hoses and one feeds, you know, sucks the water up from the 200 gallon tank and in to our fresh freshwater tank again we don't have a well yet well, with these transfer pumps you need to prime the pump first which effectively means just getting water into the hose and then into the motor system here so it actually has something to suck through otherwise it's just going to be sucking up air and it's not going to work so this is the way we prime the pump i'm sure there are better ways but this way this way works for us. We're getting fresh well water. Just took some diesel to do it. The truck. The, the wind chimes. That was Courtney's idea, the wind chimes. We have two pretty full water tanks. I took five trips to the well, got 200 gallons each trip, so a thousand gallons total. So we are full up for a while. And like I've been alluding to in this video, we made a very, very big expensive decision. We kept going back and forth about whether to get a well or whether to just rely on rainwater or trucking water in like I have been or sometimes I pay somebody else to do it at like 1500 gallons a piece. But I think that we've finally come to the conclusion that we're going to be here for a while. So the investment in a well is probably a good one. So we've decided to put in a well. This year, maybe even this season, maybe not the winter, but definitely the spring. Been in contact with a local well company, um, trying to get on their schedule, already have the application uh, put in for a well permit. 
I think we know where we're going to put the well. And that's going to allow us to live in almost in debt, hopefully indefinitely. I'll say it that way. Hopefully indefinitely without having to worry about water. Which will be so it's exciting. exciting. It's exciting. It is very exciting. You can take baths like every, every night. Yeah, we'll still be water. We're still going to collect rainwater because it's free water and we should use it when we can. Um, but now we won't be like so dependent on it raining when we've had, had rain in like a year. Little bits, but not as much as normal. So, so what we're thinking is we're going to put the well like here-ish, somewhere in that area. And then what we're going to do is underground trench from the well straight out that way past our driveway to the new house where we will have a water tank there and we will still live off of a water tank but we will refill that water tank with our well and we'll also create like a little y or something and bring another line here so we can still keep this house nice and full and we still want to have a water tank to live off of in case there's a problem with the well or something, we're not dead in the water, pun very much intended, um, if something happens. So we're still gonna do the water tanks because we just like that redundancy and we're still gonna collect rainwater like Courtney said. And she wants to build a little garden out here with plants and trees. Pretty sure she wants like an apple tree and I think she mentioned peach and plum and a few other things so that's going to be back here and we're going to probably repurpose the old water tank put it back there for the irrigation system for the garden that is yet to go in and then we will use this black tank up at the house for this house and then once we get the other house built the house that we will eventually move into we're probably going to have like a 5,000 gallon tank and that was what that house will use so Ah, that's exciting. And also a mouthful. I have a bunch of lines for you to squeeze. I told them about your 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 looming garden adventures with the apple trees well, and the and the peaches. Looming meaning like in the next few years. <laughs> yes. Because we need to have water. So and right now is the season to be planting for those things. So um, maybe next February we'll be trying out some uh apple and peach trees mm. we will see cool all depends on travel plans and water and maybe some lime because we use enough of it look at that <laughs> look at that i would love to grow mangoes too having one of our favorite meals mango we just call it mango sauce mango sauce yeah mangoes rice that's coconut rice this is coconut rice Ooh. peanuts cilantro green onion the sauce Cauliflower is in the oven. Oh, it's Black so beans. Good. Black beans. Yeah. It's, a, it's a very like spring meal. Yes, it is. Because you get mangoes. Um, so. On that note, we will bid you farewell. Until next week. Was, was that how you bid you farewell? Until next week. <laughs> um, Stay safe, stay healthy, get some sun, vitamin D, I don't know. And Stay um, warm for those of you covered warm. in snow. Yeah, we're like 70s out here, so it's just, finally, it's, per it's perfect. This is why we live in Arizona. That's right, that's right. Okay, we will see you next time. Farewell. Say bye, Penny. Are you tired? <laughs> <laughs>